Welcome. I'm Marcel Spapens and I'm the manager of R&D at InfoBridge. Today, I'm happy to introduce activity folders to you. But before we do that, I would like to show you all our Suprof's products, just briefly. They are made with a lot of love and we are very proud of them. So that's why I want to show them. And they are all available in the Suprof's App Store. Most customers know us from Synchronizer. That synchronizes Suprof's calendars to your Microsoft or Google Calendar. And of course, from DataBridge, the, the best and the user-friendliest app for importing and exporting to and from SuperOffice. But there are more apps, as you can see, and in a few seconds, I'll introduce activity folders to you. Oh, and by the way, you can try them all out for 30 days free of charge. Um, let's talk about the app of today, activity folders. Folders to organize activities and documents. Activity folders is here for you to create extra views inside SuperOffice to easily organize and access all communication with a customer by creating folders, similar to the organization of emails in Outlook. And this provides the user with a more efficient and streamlined way to manage customer interactions. It improves the productivity and customer management. And additionally, it offers features such as creating new versions of documents in just a few clicks, converting one, of, or one or more documents to a PDF version and searching for activities within created folders. Overall, this comprehensive, automated and easy document and activity management integrated for SuperOffice is ideal for businesses that want to improve their use and workflow of emails, documents and activities. The activity folders for SuperOffice Main points, folder templates can be created and can be applied on the different entities in SuperOffice, creating consistency. In the portal, an easy configuration can be made to organize activities and documents so that these will be moved automatically. And all the new archives created with activity folders are search enabled and have extra features like versioning and PDF creation. Are you ready to look at it live? Here we go. Let's take a look at a project in SuperOffice with a lot of different activities, like visits, phone calls, and documents. The first time when the new activity folders archive is used, the user can manually create the folder structure, or select a predefined folder structure that has been created previously. Automatically the folders are created, and the activities, documents, and emails are automatically moved to the right folder based on the activity and document type. Like the folders in Microsoft Outlook, you can navigate through the folders by clicking the folder name, subfolders can be expanded by clicking the little arrow. In the root, activities are placed which are not assigned to specific folders. When using the quick filters, you can quickly filter between documents and activities. You can use the drag and drop functionality to move activities and documents to the right folder manually. Searching in the folder tree can be achieved by clicking the filter button, specify the search type, and enter the search criteria. Activities and documents displayed in a folder structure share the same functionality as the regular archives from SuperOffice. You can use the right mouse click function for extra options or double click the activity to open. With documents displayed in a folder you get two essential features. Copy an existing document to a new version or create a PDF from an existing document. All this can be achieved by one mouse click. If the folder tree is very large, you can expand the folder tree to a separate browser tab so you will get a better overview. In the large view it is still possible to move activities and documents to different folders. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. So, the activity folders takeaways. Automatic filing of activities and documents. There's basically no learning curve and it works the same as Outlook. There's rich functionality with versioning and PDF creation. Thank you for watching. I hope it was interesting.